Well, hello everyone. Here to show you the healing meetings, color activity right here. As you see right here, as I went ahead and drew a picture right here, and say is a, a hand along right here is like this could be known as like what you call is like a you know a blister or it could be like any type of burn that you're know, like a type mark it is. You know anybody that may think about it, it looks maybe like a little bit like a birthmark it is. And then I'm gonna be working right here with it with about the, at least the 13 colors it is. But basically though that uh, that what I had described here you know shown right here is basically that uh, if most of us uh, knowing about it, it's like you would knowing about you know for healing you knowing that of course that uh, that you know, the idea that I was thinking about whenever I was doing this color activity right here is basically talking about is that if uh, if most of us uh, warner that a lot of time I'm like uh, yeah that the ways to describe what you call you know, for healing it is like for like a healing source it is uh, I'll go ahead and use right here's the purple but uh, color in a little bit of the band-aid let's just say if you have like a band-aid kind of like this so you know use a little bit of purple right there and use a little bit of purple right there I was thinking about that go ahead and use a little combination of a, a purple and then a green right here but uh, other than that that uh, you have right here is like a band-aid right here and then uh, with it, the band-aid I was thinking about yeah that uh, let's see if I can get the, the green and then uh, along with the blue right here go ahead and use the blue but anyway uh, but the band-aid right here is uh, something that covers uh, the wound. It's like while it's healing, it is. If you were to wind up getting cut on something or if you wind up getting, you know, if it's either due to a splinter or if it's a burn mark or a cut, you know, like a cut or if it's a, you know, anything that's related to a, a bite or anything like that. That a lot of times that, that you know, people call them, you know, boo-boos. It's like, you know, a boo-boo. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Talk about, did you get a boo-boo or something like that? Like, a lot of times, like, wondering about boo. You know, for boo-boo, you know, how do you spell it exactly? I, I'm thinking that uh, it's spelled something like uh, B-O-B-O-U -B or something like that. Um, boo-boo or something like that. You know, if you got uh, get a boo-boo. But anyway, um... And, and a lot of times, though, anybody that you think about, like, uh, if you were to get a splinter or anything like that, or if uh, if it's anything uh, related to, um, you know, if you uh, had um, accidentally, uh, you know, p pumped your head, if you, uh, uh, let's just say, uh, there, there's probably several injuries it is, but let's just say that I can go ahead and use an example of uh, such as, you know, like I say, a scab, though. If you fell off your bike or something like that, fell off your skateboard, or if you injured yourself, you know, while you were putting something down, you know, something like that, that a lot of times that you would see, like, maybe, say, a scab like this. Anybody that may think that, um, that if they had the, their habits of what you call picking the scabs, and a lot of times, though, that with anybody, that, you know, doctors will probably say that that's not very healthy, you know, to pick your scabs and on about, it's basically that, uh, I guess you can call a scab, you know, a way to describe a scab, though, is it basically... Uh, you know a way for like what you call you know for the skin cells you know the skin cells inside your skin It's like basically it's like a shell. I guess it's like basically kind of like a a shell that is built that uh, it's, it's created you know, to uh, deform like which calls like the healing process for if um, You did uh, wind up uh, you know getting a uh, you know, scarred if you do uh, if you have know, if a layer of your you know, layer of skin or something like that, you know, had gotten you know taken off, uh, you know, if you fell down on the ground or if it was you know anything burned to burn marks or anything like that, I know about it's like so is for the healing. It's like for the that the healing um, process it is, and basically it's like talk about it's like for healing definitions along with healing meanings, but. Uh, but basically, though, that you have right here of a talk of a see between scabs, though, and most of the time that you know people, you know, a lot of times with nurses would probably say there's like what you call an ointment, uh, you know, a lotion, and I think uh, you see it, it comes in like a tub like this right here, and uh, a lot of times that uh, that, that there's all you know neo, I think sporin, I think is the name of it, you know, neosporin, to where it comes into like like a tub, you know, kind of like this right here, to where if you were to, you know, get a cut or something like that, that a lot of times that there's like, you know, say, cream uh, that you can actually put on, you know, on, on the wounds it is. And a lot of times, if anybody 
were to get injured, you know, somehow, you know, wind up cutting their finger or wind up getting hurt somehow, and then they start bleeding. It is that some people that may say that, yeah, I'm not going to make a big deal about it. You know, that uh, don't worry about it. You know, it's, uh, you know, I'll live, uh, you know, something like that. Uh, yeah, that um, but knowing about that with most of the time, though, that if we were to actually get a cut, now I can maybe draw, I could say, an example, because a couple, I I cut my hand, uh, uh, you know, several times, you know, quite a few times, and uh, if I can, you know, kind of give an example right here of like what you call like a cut, a lot of times, if most of us uh, have had and had experienced a paper cut before, if it's a paper cut or if it's uh, anything that really to any other type of cut, it is if they maybe wind up cutting themselves on a maybe some plastic or anything like that and basically what it looks like it you know kind of looks like this right here to where if you may start to you know bleeding just a little bit and then uh from there and then um and then uh, the wound uh, kind of looks like this right here to where that uh it starts out to where it starts out it's like we see you can kind of you know see the the part i can uh Use the blue right here, but you know, it, whenever you whenever we cut our finger, it is a lot of times you see something like this right here, to where that you just see that the line that you know, on your you know, on, on your finger it is, and you know where, wherever that you got cut at, and then uh, after that, and then uh, and then uh, I guess you say the line begins to you know, say turn red, it is, and then uh, it, I guess you could say it goes to like what's called the emission, you know, it's like to where that um, and then. Uh, you say it starts bleeding it is I guess it goes from like what you call it between step one and then of course you know step three and four to where if it starts you know to bleed it is and then uh, from there and I guess that there's like what you call cells skin cells inside there that that uh, allows it to work and that uh, you know self uh, it can self heal you know and depend on the injury it is and uh, anybody that may think about about, about germs though but uh, most of the time with most germs it is it um Thing about my like, yeah, that they, you know, if you were to wind up cutting yourself uh, for you know for each other reason it is, and that uh, knowing about that, that you know, well, you know, you don't bother to put a band aid on there or anything like that, any type of so of uh, protection it is, and with anybody that uh, it's like uh, yeah, if they don't have access to a band aid right there at the moment it is, and basically though the whole part about healing, you know, that I guess they say that if you were to put a band aid. Uh, on the wound that, that uh, a lot of times that, that prevents infection that uh, you know for you know the you know for the the cut or the blister or if it's uh, anything related to the burn you know prevent it you know from getting infected and on the other hand too that uh, you know keeps uh, all the air you say you know irritations you know out and a lot of times anybody that may wonder about you know that the uh, ways to maybe describe infection no ways to describe infection if you have like what you call an infection on your hand or anywhere if, if most of us have hurt you know broken a bone or hurt our ankle it is if we have like an infection you know that looks kind of like this right here to where that it kind of you know, turn it has like a blue you know type look it has like a you know, blue uh, blueness all around I can go ahead and uh, maybe add some more detail right here you have right here is like you say is your hand right here and let's just say that right here right here you have right here is your hand and then um, and a, you know, it's like you have like see your wrist right here and let's just say that um, this part right here begins to like we say diminish like into purple it starts to turn like let's say a little purplish you know type color it is and uh, a lot of times it's a uh, warning about that, that I guess that usually means it's like when it's bruised it's like that that basically that uh, if we have the time if we wonder if that a lot of that means that uh, that there's a um, you know you know cells I guess blood cells that uh, inside of there you know underneath your skin I guess that uh, that's you know doing like what you call I guess that's you know three three or four different steps it is of knowing about what to say with the healing process it is and with anybody that may think about you're hard to know and about really exactly if there's any type of infection in there and anybody that may say that that well if it hurts you know a lot of times it means like anybody that may think that uh, that a lot of times if it's be if it begins to hurt then more likely it's possible that there's an infection inside there and um, some that may say 
that no, it doesn't hurt much or it hurts just a little bit or no, it don't hurt at all, you know, anything like that. But I would probably say that with anybody though, that, uh, that you know, if, you're, if we're gonna wind up cutting ourselves, it is, let's just say that if we, uh, you know, I can maybe mention like what you call it, if we were to wind up cutting our finger accidentally, you know, using a knife, any type of scissors or any type of cutting tool it is, such as, you know, such as a razor blade, if we would actually actually cut ourselves, it is depend on on the injury it is, and that knowing about that the, you put a band aid on there, but then later on that that let's just say that uh, you know that it winds up the showing another type of color it is. You know this other type of color could also mean and it could could also be like what you call like a purple type color or maybe a little bit yellow or anything like that. A lot of times it warner about that. You know what exactly does that mean? You know, a lot of times it whenever it does that. But uh, I'm thinking that more likely it's to say for the healing process. But but anyway, um, basically talk about it here is like with the band aid though for healing meanings though is that uh, basically that you have right here some examples right here and then I have right here is like a, a gauze to say a a gauze, you know, pad, first aid, you know, pad it is, and and basically that the, I've, uh, you know, I've had these for quite a, quite a several years it is, but uh, but basically though, that if most of us uh, have um, had any type of injury it is, it uh, such as uh, maybe uh, you know if we've had stitches before or you know anything related to surgery or anything like that, and basically that you have right there is like those pads to where that you open them up. And then they have like what you call you know sticky ends on the side to where that a lot of times that they would uh, allow you to place uh, you know, pl place that bandage you know, over that the wound you know to prevent you know, any irritation and of course infection it is. So a lot of ways I would have say with healing meanings though that that you know say by talking about is like a say with the reading glasses anybody probably think about you know, maybe maybe use our you know. Maybe use a pair of glasses as like an example right here of like a microscope is such as you know stuff that you can't see that's in the air stuff that you can't see that's in the air that could more likely get into an infection that you know could get into a wound it is it's like if you would actually cut yourself then more likely it's possible that allow your skin you know your skin that more likely that I'm like yeah that um, as of right now you know I don't. Uh, I don't have any cuts, you know, on, on my hands here, but uh, on your hand, that uh, way I think about, you know, this is of course is my left, uh, say my left hand it is, but uh, but anyway, um, but it's like um, with uh, with any cuts that you may get though, that, that a lot of times, like a uh, you know worn right here that they have right here, is it? Um, see here, yep, no, no, no cuts right now. I'm like, yeah, that. Uh, most of the time, though, with any cuts, though, that uh, we may think that, uh, you know, like, you know, don't even bother you. If anything, you're just going to wash off the, the wound or anything like that. You know, wa wash your hands or, you say, uh, you know, just, you know, keep an eye on it, you know, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I, I would I would suggest to anybody, if you, uh, if you do wind up cutting yourself uh, by accident or anything like that, I would suggest to anybody, you know, to get the get treatment as soon as you can. You know, if there's a you know first aid, find a locate a first aid kit because they would you know more likely anybody would would say that um, whenever we cut ourselves, that more likely there could be you know stuff that we're around and stuff that's in the air that more likely that could get into you say in you know, that that could that we say you know irritate. You know, that that wound it is, and then that possibly make it worse, and and so that that's you know a lot of times anybody that may think about that uh, that you know you know all they did is like uh, that yeah you know if they have sensitive skin like I got sensitive skin that uh, that more likely that that you know if it was like what you call it, like such as a paper cut it's like if you have like what say so far as a, so far called for paper cut it is if you were to uh, say move a a piece of paper around it's like so far as you know the directions about how to treat a wound it is and then from there and then uh, you know you could be opening up a package right here and then, uh, wind up your finger and then uh, your your hand winds up you know winds up slipping and then you wind up cutting yourself that way on something it is and anybody may think about well it's only just bleeding just a little bit it's only just bleeding just a little bit 
or you know, it's only just bleeding just a little bit. It's like, you know, I'm not going to make a big deal about it, but on the other hand, too, that no one about anybody may think that, uh, that yeah, that, that you may not think it's a real big deal until all of a sudden, you know, you wake up uh, the next morning or something like that and find that they're warning about that it, you know, it hurts. It's like that, um, that you know, you cut yourself the other day, maybe whenever you were working on a moving furniture or if it was uh, moving stuff or cleaning stuff or anything like that and then uh you know it could possibly that uh, it can get infected so and in, in a lot of ways anybody may think about it so far as talking about between healing and uh, and then talking about any type of viruses such, such as flu viruses it is uh, basically you know knowing about the you know best ways of course about healing though it's basically talk about it's like you know the best ways of knowing about you know, is to get treatment for it and um no matter of like uh, talking about if you're in that right location it is of knowing about exactly about what healing means is basically what it means i can go in right in here with say with the with the blue marker right here what by basically what healing means is basically talking about it's like so far as i can remember that so with the with the clone stamp tool on like say on photoshop and illustrator it is it's like where to that removes you know any uh, i guess you can you know we can also look at it say like it removes a uh, Removes infection And uh, we can maybe also use the word that's like a you know for reliefs, you know for reliefs infection and uh, Basically that I guess you say that that's basically what it does it relieves infection and on your hand too that you know reduces a you know, side, side, you know for any side effects it is that you know side effects um, Let's see here side <laughs> I had time to say, you know, for side, uh, yeah, side, uh, side effects it is, for side effects. For side effects, and then from there, and then it goes by saying it's like in between the side effects it is, and that knowing about that, that it's like, a, I guess you could say for, like, a, you know, healing meanings is also, like what you say, uh, if you can call it what you call, you know, maybe power, you know, if you maybe want to look at it, it's like power, but, um, but on the other hand, it's like I'm uh, talking about that, uh, that basically, you know, healing is basically a step, um, uh, a, a, sp a step, um, a step uh, to, uh, look, um, refreshing. And some people that may think that that you know looks more like new again, to make it look more like new again. And there may be other meanings, of course, for you know but the whole part about healing meanings. It is. It could also maybe mean by you know fixing. I guess anybody that may want to use like what you call you know for fixing it is. But uh, of course, if we're maybe talking about uh, you know trying to. Uh, if you wind up cutting yourself and then it winds up, uh, you know, getting healed, it is, or, you know, anything that's related to any type of infection, it is, you know, such as, uh, you know, you know, if it's um, anything related to, like, heart disease or anything like that, or maybe if it's uh, that, you know, kidney or, you know, any type of disorder, or if it's anything related to a flu virus or anything like that, a lot of times anybody may think that it's basically, you know, talk about, you know, getting, getting well, you know, I guess, uh, <laughs> like talk about, you know, so far in the medical field, a lot of times they usually say it's like all about, you know, getting well again, so far as talk about, you know, of healing, though, but uh, between like what's causing you know, self-healing and on your hand too, knowing about the whole part about, about, about healing, though, but on your hand too to talk about say with the healing meanings of talk I say you got the color right here. Talk say say with the color activity.